We seem to live in a fine-tuned universe. That is a universe in which everything seems to be parametrized just so perfectly that all observations that we make seem to match very precisely and on time with our own existence. I'm sure you see what I mean, and you probably wonder how things can be just so perfect, be it the laws of nature, the biological processes necessary for our existence, the, our atmosphere which has oxygen necessary for us to breathe, for organisms to breathe, to live, or our DNA structure, and even the physical constants that regulate the forces of nature and that have very precise values that cannot change. And these values are just right to accommodate our existence. So the way to make use or make sense of all this is the anthropic principle. Well, this principle stipulates that the existence of the universe is in such a configuration as to accommodate our own existence. So the universe is designed to allow us to make observations within it and to understand the laws of nature. And we can even go further, we can measure the constants associated with these laws. For example, the speed of light, Planck's constant, the universal gravitational constant, the electric charge, and so on. However, we don't have the possibility of modifying these constants. We can only observe them, measure them, and to a certain extent even carry out sometimes accurate predictions about our future in this universe. We also can't as of yet make observations outside the universe we are found in, as this will entail somehow breaking the laws of nature, the pre-mentioned physical constants will no more have the same values and as such, the laws of nature will be broken. So, there are two versions to the anthropic principle. We have the weak and the strong version. The weak version holds that there exist privileged locations in space and well-chosen times appropriate for intelligent life to evolve. On the other side, we have the strong anthropic principle, which uh, basically states that our existence is a necessity for the universe to exist. In other words, in its existence, the universe must make sure that there will be well-defined conditions in space-time for us to be able to exist at a given point or at a given instance. So, as you can see, there is a lot of incongruencies and philosophical implications to this principle. For example, why does there need to be this complex structure with these kind of bizarre conditions for intelligent life to exist? What about the multiple universes as predicted by string theory? Can these parallel universes interact? Does there exist intelligent life in these multiple universes? Can they also interact? If yes, why? If no, why? And perhaps the ultimate question that all physicists ask themselves is, where is the place of God in this mosaic of complexities, of dilemmas and of probabilities? Well, while we still keep looking for answers to these mythical questions, mind liking and subscribing. Until then, I see you in the next video.